Here we go. Here we go. Hi, dear friends. Here we are. How are you? So, Friday. Friday it's our design talk and the topic that today we are going to discuss together just to have a to get an idea it's uh, about the relationship that there is between young designers when they start working so between young designers design managers design directors all those people that of course are, have more experience that manage projects that have responsibilities and they have to rely on designers and young designers that uh, many times have just been hired. Therefore, they are discovering the young designer and the young designer's first experience is discovering what it means to have a boss and how to interact with the boss. We'll talk about it a little bit later. At the beginning, I would like just to talk to you about this relationship, you know, relationship between uh, design management and young designers okay young designers just get hired and they get into this uh, design studio it's their first time their first months their first year and uh, and they have to you know they have to understand what the hell it is really to work into a design studio because before you were at school so what to expect that's the good thing what to expect and I have to say that uh, here there is a rule that is very, very important that to all of you should uh, keep in mind that as we said for portfolio, we have two main elements okay, that we have to keep under control so that we can offer the best quality is the skills, creativity, which is your real portfolio, you know, your project, the way you sketch, the way you act as a young designer, the way you do your projects, the way you design, you know, and therefore the way you express your creativity on paper, on, in digital, on your models. And then we have another element which is extremely important, which is how we have to uh, how we have to work with our human factor okay so the human factor and here i'm changing camera the human factor is very important because the human factor is exactly how we have and how we approach relationships in a portfolio presentation it's the way you present yourself the way you talk to those people that are there and that you don't know and they don't know you but when we work okay it is exactly how uh wait a moment it is exactly i forgot to press a button it is exactly uh how you learn to interact with design management with your colleagues but also design management and this is something that we have to care because uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, important uh how can i say uh, moments or projects can come through as a good results or a bad results of those relationships so you have to think about it it's not just what you have to propose you know in terms of uh, skills and creativity according to a given project okay it's not just that it is also about how you are able to interact uh, uh, how you are able to listen to your manager to interact with him and therefore what type of trustful relationship you can in in store with them and, and this means also with uh, of course with other design the design director design lead uh, modelers uh, the head of the modelers you know or the model making and all those people that make the big huge family of a big important car design studio because it's not just you and your manager but it's you your manager your projects and all the other people and if you are involved into this 
therefore means that you have to interact with all those people. You will not have an important responsibility at the beginning in terms of coordination, of course not, but how you will behave or misbehave will be very important for your good health in terms of being part of that team, okay? So, uh, this is something that uh, you have to nurture, that you have to care about. Uh, I'm reading a few of your... Uh, of your uh, uh, ciao, Sayed. Welcome back. Hey, Luca. Ciao. Okay, so I hope that this, uh, this topic is interesting to you. And one thing I, I, I also would like to let you know is that uh, when we start uh, as young designers, of course, it happened to me, it happens to everybody, we get into a new environment, okay, made of different human beings, human people. And uh, if uh, we are at home with our family member, or if, for example, we get, uh, I don't know, we, we have a girlfriend and we go and meet girlfriend's family, in a way, it's a, it's a, it's a same experience. It's all new. And, and therefore, we meet her parents, uh, maybe brothers, sisters, family members. Uh, and, and, and therefore, we have to learn how to interact with those people because we love our girlfriend and we want to make sure that everything works well. Well, when we get into a car design studio, but in any, to be honest, in any job, you know, where you get into an office, you have, a, you will have colleagues. When we get into a design studio, there is a different thing that in most of uh, a micro society, it, 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 it doesn't exist, which is uh, uh, the, the, how many people are coming uh, from foreign countries with different cultures and they are part of that design team. And of course, I'm talking about designers because we, this car design and industrial design, especially car design is so international and it's such a richness, you know, to have uh, designers coming from different countries uh, to take advantage of their creativity that is of course influenced by their cultures that we have to learn how, for example, in my case, being an Italian, I have to talk and relate myself to people that are from other countries, like Japan, China, America, uh, North Europe, or, or, or Middle East countries, you know. So this aspect is also something very important. This means that we have to be flexible, that we cannot be uh, how can I say, we cannot be too stubborn, okay, hard head about uh, some of our, our way of thinking or behaving, that we have to understand a little bit other people's culture, just like they are trying to understand our culture the way we are, therefore work together to make sure that we can get together and we can get along together very well into a design team that basically is a small family in which everybody cares for each other, that we help each other, we help the project, we help the company, and we enjoy living within that office environment. So the human factor is very important. And I wanted to tell you that because I see that many times um, students uh, that, that go to school, I know that, they don't have teachers that will explain those things. Therefore, it's important that you, I, 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 it's not that I'm explaining to you a lot of things, but I just want to keep you in mind this for you, so that you think about it, so that you can understand that the moment you go and have your internship, you will be facing the same situation. And therefore, you have to do your best to make sure that in that situation you will find really well. For example, I had a one time, a five, or five or six years ago, a student as an intern coming from the uh, Middle East. And this guy was very good. He, he used to sketch really well. So when we saw his portfolio from an Italian design school, we said, uh, 
Well, let's take him. You know, this guy is uh, it's really good. So let, let's give him a chance. So we I contacted the school. I got the number of this guy, contacted the number. Then I discovered that he was also following me uh, on my socials. So via Instagram, I, I contacted him and I, I told him, I said, would you like to send me your portfolio? Uh, because we are searching for uh, uh, offering some internships. There is a, an opportunity. So he was very happy, he sent it to me. Uh, we reviewed the portfolio. And um, we decided, yes, that uh, he was uh, qualified to be part of this experience, this internship. And we took him, so we hired him for about four months. Well, I'll tell you, we had a big problem. Is that this guy, even if he was very good, and he was working with me, and I was giving him a, a, a project that was uh, the beginning of an important project, um, ciao Debajit, ciao uh, was an important project but of course he didn't know because we didn't have to tell him uh, he started sketching but every time that I was uh, making a, a, a loop of uh, pre-presentation with him of his works um, hi GM4 A16 hello ciao so every time we were having this conversation around uh, talking about his sketches, the way he was, uh, he was developing the project, I was giving him some constructive critiques, just like a uh, you know, manager designer, because uh, the interns, uh, we, we treat them as designers, not as students, of course. And um, I remember that he was always very, very stubborn on his idea. He was defending what he was doing in a, in a very hard way. And then at the end, he, he would say, yes, okay, I, I will do, I will follow your advice. So I was tranquil. And then one week later, when I used to go and check what he was doing, he did not follow a single thing that I was strongly suggesting, suggesting him to do, because I knew that with those changes, his work, could have a really good chance, you know, to be taken into a high co higher consideration by, by who? By my boss and other people that would analyze and check those drawings. So after 11, after two months, three months, four months, things didn't go like that. Basically during those three, four months, we started not to pay too much attention to him because it was a wasted time. He was really not, uh, not ready to make a single, you know, a single effort to try to, to listen to us. So basically what happened? It happened something that uh, uh, it's a clear example when things don't work out. You have on the skills and creativity, somebody that is good and there is no doubt about that but then you have also from uh, the human factors point of view a serious problem and the problem is given by the fact that uh, this guy was not listening and if you are not listening how can i manage you how can i be your manager Therefore, we were thinking, we made a meeting between uh, managers with our boss. And I, I said it very clearly, I really don't know what to do because I'm not uh, mean. I'm not somebody that is imposing things. I am somebody that uh, is talking, you know, exchanging ideas. It's a, a moment for every designer to grow, you know, to grow better because uh, there is a great opportunity to make a, a conversation dedicated to design. So we talk about design. But this guy doesn't listen. He's just into his thing and he believes that he's right and everybody is wrong. And he's a student. Therefore, he doesn't understand. He doesn't have the maturity to understand that we are right and he is wrong. And therefore, according to the briefing of the project that was given to him, he was day by day going off-road. 
So this is something that was really too bad. And uh, I was very sorry about that. But of course, how did it end up? It ended up that uh, we made a presentation, final presentation of his work. People came, a management came to, to see the presentation, he presented. And then a lot of people made the same comments that I was making when we were just him and, and myself. And, and if, uh, if he had, uh, how can I say, understood and opened up himself a little bit more to change a few things, of course that presentation would have done much, much better. Would have been much, much better. So this is a good example, you know, it is a good example to show you that the human factor is very important. It can kill you if you don't make an effort. I would say at the beginning, I don't, I don't want to say that for the whole life that you have work, you have to just listen and just execute. No, 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 because I, of course I'm not like that, you know, nobody's like that. But it's, it's true that when you are very, very young and you have no experience whatsoever, you have to listen. You have to reason and ask yourself, why is he asking me to change that detail? Why is he criticizing, I don't know, uh, even the color of my sketch? Some, there are some colors that are negative, psychologically. And sometimes people make uh, car sketches green or brown. Well, this is something we never do. It's very rare. We never do because, especially in America, because uh, green is a bad color on cars. I mean, on sketches. I'm not saying uh, a beautiful uh, British green. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about uh, just a, a simple green marker, okay, for your sketches. Or like brown. Brown is very bad. <laughs> so, if you always use those colors, you put yourself in a situation where people say, but what the hell, what taste does he have? He doesn't know the blue, the dark gray, a nice red, a nice red violet, stuff like that. I mean, those things might, see, might seem silly to you. Idiots, stupid, but believe me, even some details like those are important. But the most important thing I would say is really the relationship, the human relationship, the way you behave with the others, the way you integrate yourself with the others, the way you ask to people that have more experience, please can you explain to me that detail because during that presentation I didn't understand. That's normal. Instead, if you are always closed in your small world, and you don't get out of that world, basically you are isolating yourself. And that's the worst thing you can do, especially into a design environment. Because design is team. It's a teamwork. It's like soccer, you know. A lot of people together, and they all play together to, to mark a goal uh, and, to, and to win the game. And when you are part of a design team on a project, the same thing. Each one has a role. You have a managers, directors that take decisions, then give orientations according to those decisions. And the designers has to listen, translate that, and apply on their new sketches, on the evolution, on the design development. Ciao, Patil. Ciao. Welcome back. Okay. So. This is something I really wanted to talk to you because this human aspect, it's very hard that we, we talk about that in school, okay? And it's a little bit the same thing, the relationship you can have in school with your teachers, of course. We all would like to have teachers that we, uh, how can I say, that for which, uh, for who we have lots of regards, you know, that we really love. But sometimes we have teachers that are not like that that we, we, we don't even like that much. But that's okay. That's life. It's normal. But that does not mean that you don't listen to your teacher or that you mistreat your teacher or that you isolate yourself because that guy, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't like him. 
or that girl if, he, if it's a she, you know, as a teacher. So it's important. It's important to have a flexible mind to understand that we are in an international environment, that we will, of course, we will have hierarchy, that we'll have a manager, we have a lead designer, okay, and that we have directors. And then there is another thing very important is that uh, you have to understand that for a design manager or for a director, a design director, the young designers and young designers are the solution to their problems. Because our problem is, is what? That uh, uh, we have to make a change because engineering uh, or cost uh, or timing is imposing us to make a little change. Well, that change has to be made. Now, if uh, I made it as a, as a design manager, I am doing this instead of the designer. And that's so so accepted. Instead, if I ask the designer, that is uh, the one that made that, uh, that design. Please, you need to change that. And he does it, then that's the right process. Because it's a top-down decision. Ciao, Sumit. It's a top-down decision. And then it's a top-up result, which means that the designer will make the, 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 the modification. We will discuss together whether that modification is appropriate or not, that is good, that everybody is happy. And therefore, we can present it. And the team that will look at that modification will say, that's very good, that's very nice. Now it's, everything is perfect. So it becomes a problem solving, a positive problem solving. Now, if we are in a situation that is exactly the opposite, where we have a difficulty in having designers listening to us, especially young ones, okay, what happens? that they become the problem. And that's bad. And if I go and say to my director, I'm really sorry, but I, I'm having a hard time in getting that thing done, the director will get mad and he will start saying, we have a problem. Therefore, if this will persist, that will become a case that has to be treated within the team. And you can understand that if we, if we do that, then we create a case, a negative case. And that person will be called, we will talk, but not to compliment, on the opposite, to tell him, be careful with your behavior. Now, what is the result of all this? You know, at the end of the year, we all receive an evaluation. That's life. <laughs> it's just uh, uh, the best way to make an evaluation of our work and our performance during the past year to decide whether I can get a raise, I can, uh, I don't know, get a promotion on my contract, whether I can get a, a nice bonus, you know, according to the project and stuff. Therefore, it's in, in your interest to be open-minded, to listen to everybody and not to become the problem so that you can take advantage of that moment. And a lot of, and some people, not a lot of people, some people don't understand that. Then when they come at the end and they say, ah, but I work like hell and they didn't give me anything, and they're surprised, but there's no surprise. Hey, Harwin, ciao. I'm fine, thanks. I hope you are fine too. All right, so this is something I really want to talk to you. And uh, I think I don't have anything else to add. Therefore, if you have some comments about that, now it's the moment for you to pose your question. I'm here to answer to your questions. All right, okay, so one, two, Three, thank you very much. Thank you, Kang, for the beer. Thank you very much for your likes. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, our meeting will be next one. Live will be Tuesday. Like every Tuesday, we will be sketching again 
together, okay? Urs, don't forget, subscribe. Ciao!